one day when we're through all this, you know, I'm sure lots of stuff can be learned by studying how it all went down. Um, at the very beginning of the pandemic, it seemed like things died down and there were people having less crises. Um, and that's not too different from what we see in like natural disasters and all that. Um, I think people get mobilized to deal with the crisis. Uh, and, and even people that are under some circumstances having trouble keeping it together, managed to keep it together to respond to that crisis. But you know, that, that only lasts so, so long and most, most natural disaster type crises, you know, don't last uh, a year and a couple of weeks now so that, you know, lots of people, um, that are going through any type of behavioral health problem, you know, they've got their support network and some people might be able to keep it together, you know, and, and stay strong and have the support they need to, to, to stay in recovery. And just overnight, a lot of those people's networks just disappeared. Um, you know, the places where they went, to their routines, uh, the people that they could spend time with, uh, all that got taken away from them overnight. Um, and to some extent, services have found a way to reach those people. You know, we obviously stopped seeing people in person for our behavioral health appointments, but started doing that like we're talking now through Zoom. But there is certainly something to be said for the, the missing piece of, you know, human and personal human interaction. Sure being in a room together talking versus talking uh, to a computer.